G'day guys, Keith here from Mirror Effect Detail. Hope you enjoyed that intro at the start there. Doing a video on large stick removal. Now this was a real sort of tough challenge here. A lot of, uh, the client was saying a lot of guys turned this job down because it looked a bit, how you going? So, yeah, so we're doing a, a video on large sticker removal. We got a good result here, client was happy. Um, now with all sticker removal jobs, I'm gonna show you some tools and equipment you'll need. You're gonna want absolutely great tool, just a plastic razor. Uh, look on eBay for those. You're gonna want a goo and stain remover or sticker remover, whatever they're called. This one's Oomph, you can buy it at Bunnings. Amazing product, microfiber towel, not that one though, cause it's dirty. Uh, some, just some disposable gloves. Now optionally, you can get some wax and some polish and a polisher, and if you've got a really old sticker like this one, you'll probably need that. Uh, to get rid of some of the hologramming and, and, and ghosting once it's removed. So here you can see I'm starting at the corner. I've applied some heat with the heat gun. I think I forgot to mention that at the start. That's another thing you'll need, absolutely. Peeling away a corner here. Now once you've got this corner started, you're going to take your shirt off because it's summer and it's hot. And you're going to apply heat just in front of where you've got the peel going, you're just going to slowly and with a bit of finesse get that sticker slowly removed. Now you're not going to pull too hard because you'll tear it like I just did there. So slow and steady wins the race here with these really large um, tough stickers. So we're applying heat sort of in front of where we are and we're just gradually peeling that off. Almost there. And guys, how satisfying is that? Give a bit of a victory yield there. Now you're going to hit it with that glue remover product. Be pretty generous here because it's a large sticker. Try to wipe away the bulk of the residue that's left behind once you remove the the face of the sticker. Just using a microfiber towel here guys. Now that won't remove all of it, so you're gonna have to go back to the heat gun. It's on low low heat right now. Keep it moving, don't keep it in one spot too long. And using the plastic razor and the combination of that plus the heat, you're just gonna sort of consolidate the residue into sort of one sort of group. Um, and that's what I'm doing right here. Applying heat as I need. Speeding up the video a bit here. You're gonna clean up that sort of big consolidation you've got and keep keep giving it a few passes with that glue and sticker remover. And that should be 90% of it gone. Now I'm giving it a polish here guys. It's gonna get rid of any last remnants of it and it's gonna it's gonna get rid of that ghosting and hologramming that's sort of left behind almost like a sun suntan sort of area that, that makes that it just gets rid of that so I'm cleaning off the residue of the polish just with some sort of alcohol solution stuff here you won't need to do this guys on you know small stickers this is quite an old deteriorating one just apply a bit of spray wax here, just to give it a bit more pop, just to over over um, deliver a bit to my customer, make it look nice for them. So here we have it guys, here's the before and after, good result. Now there's obviously some rust defects on this door and some other issues. The client purely just wanted sticker removal, nothing else. Um, once you have those three main tools, which is the plastic razor, the heat gun and the goo remover, you can be well on your way to removing any sort of dealership stickers or any other stickers that you want to remove from your car. So if you like what you've seen here guys, give us a subscribe, really excited to get some more content out and if you have any uh, comments or feedback let me know and uh, yeah cheers, see you on the next one.